Welcome back. Joe Root resigns his test captaincy. In 2018, just before the retirement of Alistair Cook, Joe Root was named as England's test captain as he was the senior most player excluding Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad at that time. Well, before deeply analyzing Joe Root's test captaincy, if you're watching this video for the first time, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications for all the videos and quizzes from Cricket Pundit. Back to the topic. Joe Root's captaincy career started off really well as they defeated India and South Africa in England quite handsomely. But since pandemic, all the problems started chasing Joe Root. Since 2021, England have lost five out of the six Test series that they played. They won a two-match Test series against Sri Lanka in the start of 2021, but after that, they lost to India 3-1 and lost a home series against New Zealand, and they are still trailing India by 2-1. and they lost the ashes badly and to conclude it they will also lost the test series against west indies 1-0 but when it comes to numbers and statistics joe root is the best by a far distance well he is the most successful england captain with 27 victories and he has also the most number of losses which is 26 so now let us compare him with the fab four only virat kohli has more number of victories than joe root in test cricket which is 40 but Joe Root's win percentage of 42 is the lowest among the other four players. Captaincy pressure has never bothered Joe Root's batting form because he has scored 5295 runs as captain of England, which is the fifth most among all the captains, and only Virat Kohli has scored more runs than him while comparing with the Fab Four. Well, everything was going well for England and Joe Root, but in the last 17 games, they've just managed to win a single game and they've lost 14 of them and drawn just two. So who will be England's next test captain? Ben Stokes and Josh Butler are the front runners so far. Stuart Broad and Jimmy Anderson might be a fair choice considering their experience, but the place in the playing 11 is still questionable. So they might find another alternative at least till the end of this transition period. There is no problem whatsoever in England's white ball cricket, but when it comes to red ball, there's a lot of ifs and buts. So who is your suggestion to lead England in the longer format? Comment in the comment section and once again if you're watching this video for the first time don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you'll receive notifications for all the videos and quizzes from Cricket Pundit.